Without accommodations, pregnant workers can experience serious complications. Having been a flight attendant for 30 years, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I have first-hand first -hand experience with the consequences lacking safety measures for pregnant women. I continued to fly while I was pregnant uh, as a flight attendant. However, I had three miscarriages and ended up having a fetal demise. And when I became pregnant with my son, Jordan, my doctor, my specialist, demanded that I stayed home. Uh, and I was placed on short-term disability for that time. For, really, for the entire pregnancy. Flight attendants throughout my entire career were still expected to come to work, to push and pull heavy beverage and meal carts that weighed anywhere between 175 and over 200 pounds. We were still expected, if there was an emergency, to open and close extremely heavy, heavy aircraft doors. We were still expected to help passengers lift and put their bags in the overhead bins. And flight attendants were still expected to carry and lift their own luggage. I know the importance of passing this legislation. Most flight attendants that I worked with, because they could not afford to take off the entire time for their pregnancies, worked well to the end of their second trimesters, risking the health of not only their lives, but their unborn children.